What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Playoffs. Sunday, April 14th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? Of course, we got Russell Westbrook. He might be my favorite point guard play today. But I also like Kyrie Irving from the Boston Celtics playing the Indiana Pacers, who have a really good defense. But Kyrie Irving has averaged 45.1 fantasy points per game in the season in an average of 33 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. Kyrie Irving is 8,100 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel. Projected at 43.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. Kyrie Irving has 60, 70 point upside. This is playoff Kyrie now. You saw what happened last night with Stephen Curry. Kyrie is that same type of player. If the Pacers can keep this game close, you could get a ceiling game for Kyrie here. Probably going to be lower owned than the other studs, and his price is way down. So I like Kyrie Irving here versus the Indiana Pacers. So our DFS tools for MLB baseball are now live and working. You can click on the MLB tab to change sports and check the tools out for baseball. They're really helpful. They're going to save you guys a ton of research time. Remember, we added projected ownership, and that will be updating throughout the day as injury news changes. We also added the fantasy points per minute stat here for each player, and we also added a stat that's new to the industry. We call it the hit percentage, and it's the percent chance this player has to hit value at his current DFS salary. And you can access all these new stats even on mobile devices by tapping the dash rank icon. Okay, who do we have at the shooting guard position? I like Terry Rozier from the Boston Celtics playing the Indiana Pacers. Terry Rozier has averaged 20.8 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 23 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. Now remember, Marcus Smart is out, so that's going to be a lot of guard minutes to fill. Terry Rozier is going to get a bump in minutes. And Terry Rozier is 4,900 DraftKings salary, and he's 800 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Terry Rozier is projected at 26.3 fantasy points. That's 5.4 times value, and way more on FanDuel. If Scary Terry gets hot, he can crush this price tag. He's going to get the opportunity with no Marcus Smart. So I love Terry Rozier here versus the Indiana Pacers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the small forward position? So this is a risky value play. I like Luke Kennard from the Detroit Pistons playing the Milwaukee Bucks who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Luke Kennard has scored 17.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 23 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. Luke Kennard is 3,600 DraftKings salary. He's 200 more on FanDuel, projected at 17.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. There's an implied total of 218.5 points in this game, this guy was starting to come on towards the end of the season. It's playoff time now, so just be careful. You never know how many minutes these low salary guys are going to get. So that's what makes him a risky play. If he gets the minutes, everything else is great. So I like Luke Kennard as a low score drop option or a dart throw value play here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. 
will reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? I like Paul George from the Oklahoma City Thunder playing the Portland Trailblazers who have a middle of the pack defense overall they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Paul George has averaged 50.8 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 37 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. Paul George is 9,200 DraftKings salary. He's 1,400 more on FanDuel, projected at 50.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.5 times value. There's an implied total of 225 points in this game this is going to be a fast-paced game. And forget about that questionable tag on Paul George. You know he's going to play. I'm tired of these coaches abusing the questionable and now doubtful tag here in the playoffs. What happened with Joel Embiid was a total joke. He was ruled in just a few minutes before lock. DraftKings site crashed. I couldn't even switch my lineups. You just don't expect to have to deal with these things in the NBA playoffs. So anyways, Paul George is going to play. And take a look at what he's averaging versus Portland in his last three. He scored 65, 87, and 64 fantasy points in his last three games versus Portland. So he's averaging 72 fantasy points per game in the last three versus the Portland Trailblazers. Paul George is going to play, and he could break the slate. So I love Paul George here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Andre Drummond from the Detroit Pistons playing the Milwaukee Bucks who are middle of the pack defense overall in their middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Andre Drummond has scored 46.1 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 34 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. Andre Drummond is 8,800 DraftKings salary. He's 1,800 more on FanDuel. So I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 47.3 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.4 times value. I prefer this play on DraftKings. I think you could pivot to Ennis Cantor over there on FanDuel. But on DraftKings, I like Andre Drummond. He hits 5 times value 68% of the time at that price. This should be a competitive game, so Andre Drummond should get all the run he can handle. I like Andre Drummond here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.